Hi everyone, Hi. how are you all doing? Are you missing us? We're missing you. Well, it's been a while since we got to all meet up in person together, isn't it, for Shoots and Roots? So we're having Shoots and Roots online for the next few weeks. Now, over the next few weeks, we're going to learn about the true story of a prophet called Jonah. And you can find that and read about it in the Bible. And it's in the book of Jonah. Now, in this first session, we're going to be thinking about listening. And most importantly, listening to God. We're going to start off with a game about listening, a game called Simon Says. Now, you have to do what Simon says. You have to make sure you don't do what I say. So if Simon doesn't say it, you don't do it. Are you ready? We're going to have a practice round to start off with. So, Simon says, thumbs up. Simon says, clap your hands. Look down. Oh, now Simon didn't say that one. But that's right, it was a practice round. So we're going to have the real game now. So, here we go. Simon says, sit down. Simon says, stand up. Simon says, look up. Look down. Oh, did we guess anyone? I don't know. Let's, let's try one more round. Simon says, put your hands in the air. Simon says, touch your knees. Simon says, touch your ear. Simon says, spin around. Jump. Oh, well, that's it for this game. Let's... Well, before we first hear about Jonah and the story of Jonah, we're going to sing a song and it's called God Speaks, We Listen. And there's some actions that go along with it and they start off with God Speaks, We Listen, I want to hear his word every day. I'm sure you pick up the rest as we go along. Read the Bible, trust and obey God speaks, we listen Wanna hear His word every day God speaks, we listen Read the Bible, trust and obey No better way to truly know God No better way to truly know us No better way to truly know Wanna hear his word every day God speaks, we listen Read the Bible, trust and obey No better way to truly know God No better way to truly know us No better way to truly know life Cause in the Bible we meet Jesus Listen, wanna hear his word every day. God speaks, we listen. Read the Bible, trust and obey. Read the Bible every day. Read the Bible, trust and obey. Our session today has all been about listening and doing what we've been told to do. And we should, shouldn't we? We should listen to mommy and daddy if they tell us to do something. We should do that. We should do that. If God tells us to do something, we should do that. The thing is, is that I know I don't always do what I'm supposed to do. I'm sure you don't always do that either. And today's story is about a man just like you and I. He doesn't always do what he's supposed to do. In fact, in this story, God tells him to do something and he does the opposite. His name is Jonah. This is Jonah. And God tells Jonah that he's to go to Nineveh to tell them about the bad things that they've been doing. And that God has seen what they've been doing. But Jonah, he decides he's not going to listen to God and do what he says. He decides he's going to get on a boat to run away from God and go all the way up here to a place called Tarshish. And Jonah, he sets off in this boat, and here he is in the boat. And God, because Jonah hasn't listened and he's not done what he's been told to do, God sends a big storm as a punishment. And Jonah, he's asleep in the boat at this point, and the storm's starting, and the boat starts rocking and going, and getting all like thrown all over the place and it's going to break up 
and the sailors and the captain they're really scared of the storm because they don't think they're going to survive the storm well they cast lots and it falls on Jonah so they go wake up Jonah and they say who are you what have you done and Jonah replies I am a Jew I worship the Lord of heaven and earth and he is God and they, they sailors and the captain they're like well, what have you done because he explains to them that he's been running away from God because he didn't want to do what God had asked him to and don't forget the storms going at this point they're all going all over the place and so Jonah tells them that if he if they throw him into the sea the sea will become calm and they'll be safe so they they do they throw him into the sea Ooh, and the sea becomes really calm and the boat just drifts along really calmly and the sailors and the captain they believe in God they come to him in faith because of what happened well Jonah now do you remember where Jonah is Jonah's now in the sea he's in all the waves he's going up and down and the waters are swirling all over him he's at risk of drowning and it just yeah he feels like he's got no hope but then then as he's at risk of drowning from the waters he prays to God and he asked God to save him. In this distress, he cried out to God and asked him to save him. What does God do? God sends a big fish that swallows Jonah. And inside the fish, Jonah praises God and says, salvation belongs to the Lord. Because if it wasn't for that fish, Jonah would have drowned. He was in the sea. And Jonah's been saved by the fish. God listened to Jonah in his distress. God listened to Jonah's prayer. Well, we said, didn't we, at the start that you and I are a bit like Jonah. We don't always do what we're supposed to do. Well, there was another man. His name was Jesus, and he always did what he was supposed to do. He always listened to God perfectly. And do you remember how long Jonah was in the fish for? He was in the fish for three days and three nights. Well, Jesus compares himself to this. When he died on the cross, he spent three days and three nights in the tomb. And Jesus yeah, compares himself to this to say it's like a sign. That Jonah was saved from the punishment he deserved when God sent a fish that swallowed him and put him in the sea for three days and three nights. Well, Jesus died on the cross because of all the ways that we haven't done what we're supposed to do. Jesus did always do those things, but he took the punishment we deserved. And he spent three days and three nights in the tomb. And afterwards, and this is how we know the sign is true, afterwards Jesus rose from the dead triumphant. If we put our trust in him, he'll take the punishment we deserve for not listening and doing what we're supposed to do. While we were still sinners, God showed us his love by sending us his own son. his love by sending us his own son Jesus died for us God showed us his love when Jesus died for us while we were his enemies God showed us his love while we were lost and without showed us his love by sending us his own son Jesus died for us God showed us his love when Jesus died for us while we were his enemies God showed us his love God showed us his love when Jesus died for us while we were his enemies 
showed us his love. God showed us his love. God showed us his love. That brings us to our quiz. You'll need to press pause after each question is read so you have time to answer before the answer is revealed. Question 1. What book of the Bible are we learning from today? Jonah. Question 2. Did Jonah do what God wanted him to? No. Question 3. Where was Jonah told to go? Nineveh. Question 4. Where did Jonah try to go to? Tarshish. Question 5. Complete this song line. God speaks. We listen. Question 6. Why did God send a storm against the ship? God sent the storm as a punishment for Jonah not doing what he was told to do. Question 7. What happened to Jonah after he had been thrown into the sea? God sent a fish that swallowed Jonah and saved him. Question 8. How many days and nights was Jonah in the fish? Three days and three nights. Question 9. How long was it between when Jesus died and rose again? Three days and three nights. Question 10. Did Jesus always do what God wanted him to? Yes. Question 11. Why did he die on the cross? To take our punishment for when we haven't done what God tells us to. Okay, so now it's time for our memory verse. We're just going to learn the first part of it today, but before we do, we need to learn some Bible words, grace and mercy. And that's because our Bible verse says that God is gracious and that he's merciful. And that means that he shows grace and mercy. So grace, that's getting something that you don't deserve. So Jonah didn't deserve to be rescued when he was thrown off the boat into the sea, but God sent the big fish to save him. And that's grace. Mercy is not getting what you do deserve. So like if someone deserved to be punished for doing something wrong, being shown mercy would be if the person who could punish them decided not to. And we're going to find out later in Jonah that God shows mercy to people. Here's the first part of our memory verse. Jonah says this to God in chapter 4 verse 2. There's a rhythm for this memory verse that goes like this. So you clap and then you pat your legs. Let's all have a go at that together and then I'll count us in and we'll say it for the first time. Ready? Three, two, one, go! You are a gracious God and merciful. Jonah 4 verse 2. Let's have another go. You are a gracious God and merciful. Jonah 4 verse 2. Excellent, let's have a go without some of the words. Okay, do you think you can still do it? Let's have another go. You are a gracious God and merciful. Jonah 4 verse 2. Now let's see if we can do it without any words at all. There we go, for the last time then. You are a gracious God and merciful. Jonah 4 verse 2. We'll learn more of that verse next week. See if you can learn and remember this part of the verse by then. Now this week's craft is going to be a fish with Jonah inside. And it will say on the fish, God rescued Jonah. Salvation comes from the Lord. If you just ask your parents, contact St. Stephen's on the email or the phone number in the video description. We can have a craft pack sent out for you to have a go at at home. 
And if you're a bit older and you'd rather have a little activity sheet to do with sort of word searches and quizzes and that sort of thing, then just let us know. We can send that one out to you instead.